In the crushing darkness 3,000 meters below, where sunlight never penetrates, lurks one of evolution's most perfect predators, the deep sea killer worm. This elusive creature thrives where most life would perish, its existence recorded only by robotic submersibles. The abyss provides no shelter, yet the worm dominates through a combination of biological innovation and ruthless efficiency. Our journey begins by unraveling how this near mythical hunter turns the ocean's eternal night into its weapon. The killer worm's most astonishing feature is its bioluminescent lure, a modified appendage that pulses with blue-green light, mimicking the distress signals of smaller creatures. This living fishing rod contains specialized photophores producing light through chemical reactions, requiring 20% of the worm's total energy expenditure. Nearby fish, evolved to investigate potential meals in the food-scarce abyss, cannot resist this deadly beacon. Meanwhile, the worm's pressure-resistant body withstands 300 times surface-level atmospheric force. When prey crosses the lethal threshold, the worm activates its hydraulic jaw system, muscles building fluid pressure until releasing with terrifying speed. The strike lasts just 0.1 seconds, faster than a rattlesnake's bite. Specialized teeth inject neurotoxins, while backward-facing spines prevent escape. Recent studies show the attack accelerates at 50 mes per sec credit, generating enough force to overcome water resistance. The prey is swallowed whole before it can react, the bioluminescent lure immediately dimming to avoid attracting larger predators. The worm's hunting strategy defies conventional deep-sea biology. Most abyssal predators rely on sensing vibrations or electrical fields, but the worm actively creates false signals. Its bioluminescence peaks at 480 nanometers wavelength, perfectly matching the depth's ambient light penetration. The rapid strike exploits an evolutionary blind spot. Deep sea fish lack fast twitch muscle responses, having never needed them in this slow motion world. This makes the worm's ambush nearly 97% successful compared to 30% for shallower water predators. Despite its lethal efficiency, the killer worm serves as a crucial regulator in deep sea ecosystems. By preying on mid-depth fish that venture too low, it prevents overpopulation that could disrupt delicate chemosynthetic communities. Its abandoned lures even provide temporary habitats for bioluminescent bacteria. Yet these adaptations make it vulnerable. Climate change altering ocean pressure zones could disrupt its hunting precision. The worm embodies nature's paradox, a creature perfected for its environment yet dependent on that environment's unchanging nature. 